Hey, Joseph, how you doing? All right, so I'm um, reading through your writing. Good job, good job describing your intent as a designer. That's always so very important for students to understand um, the relevance of being able to express yourself uh, regarding your intent and your, your methodology and conceptual development and your developmental approach to any of your assignments. So keep that up, not only in this class, but all of your classes. It's always such a good idea to describe your intent as a designer. So, and that, that go, that holds true for the rest of your career where you'll, you'll always be asked to describe your, your thought pattern behind any, des, any design that, that be, that is submitted for, uh, for approval from a art director, a creative director, or ultimately even a client. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump to the ad. I think it's a good ad. I really do. It's 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 very very clean and clear. It's there's there's no visual clutter. I think the the, the hierarchy for the most part is very very clear. Um, so I'm I'm a fan. I think I think you've done a great job. Um, typically, I'm not. I'm just not attracted, nor do I find any much value in center aligned type. And the reason I say that is because center alignment, basically, it, it creates um, symmetry around the typographic composition. And as we know from design principles and elements, that symmetry is not always the most interesting thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's rarely the most interesting thing. So what I would recommend here is I, I think that this this center alignment I think is it's very neutral so it's it's neither adding to or taking away from the balance of the page and I think the page itself is a little bit imbalanced in that most of the visual weight is on this side of, of the composition so what I would recommend I think it's good that you have this left aligned I would take this recompose it and and um, and left align it and so that your uh, your your uh, type selection is, is up here, left aligned. So find your serenity, and then underneath that, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm, tr I'm, saying, I'm saying left aligned, but I mean right aligned. So you have your find your serenity, okay, and then right aligned here, you have experience something mystical, all right? And then make sure that that is in alignment with the right margin for this text right here, okay? And I think that just that simple move right there is going to redistribute the weight associated with the page. And I think it's going to make it more balanced. Um, I think this type right here is too, way too large. I would definitely reduce the size of that um, drastically, as a matter of fact. You want the, the, the headline should be the largest because that's presumably where you want the, the viewer to start in terms of typographic hierarchy. So headline is the largest. Okay, then the subhead. And then the body copy would be the, the next largest. So the, the body copy should be smaller than the headline and the subhead. So again, in summary, I think it's a, it's a fantastic start. Let's redistribute some of the uh, weight uh, uh, associated with the typography by uh, reassembling the headline to say, find your serenity, all in the same size. Okay, so you don't emphasize serenity. Find your serenity right here, okay? then. Right align, experience something mystical, is set in aerial bold italic. Find your serenity set in aerial bold. And then this should be regular aerial. And then reduce the size of that as well as the kerning and letting associated with that, that type selection right there. And then make sure that's right aligned. Okay. And I think that'll really, really bring this home. The only other, my only other recommendation is this white. I'm not sure what this white stripe is at the top of the ad. I, I definitely would recommend removing that, just showing the sky back there. All right, so fantastic start. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But I do recommend making these changes and getting this resubmitted or, or you know, I'll make comments if you, if you wish, uh, just resubmit it right here or put it in a general questions area. Um, of the discussion board, but I, I, what I'm getting at is I think it would be very smart to finish the magazine ad, make those changes so that you can base your magazine ad based on the, uh, I'm sorry, so you can base your web banner on the magazine ad, ensuring that we have a good, cohesive, consistent presentation at the end of the day, right? So again, I, I recommend that you make these changes quickly before you start the banner ad. And if there's anything you would like me to look at, if you want to resubmit this for comments, please have at it. I'm more than glad to provide um, in that regard. Okay. Uh, outstanding. Outstanding. Very good. All right. Questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Thank you very much.